Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to talk about lead and lag time. So first of all, let's create a couple of tasks. Task A and Task B, both one day tasks. Now normally, when you link a task, you just put the predecessor number in there. So if I want this to link to task one, I'll just put a one in there and there it links. Now lead time and lag time, if you're using the default task type, which is follow on, one task finishes and the next task starts, you have to qualify it with the FS prefix. Now, how do I know it's FS? If I double click onto task B and go to the predecessors tab, you have the types in this list here and you've got the abbreviations at the end so fs for the default which you do not need to do if you're just having a straightforward link but if you're going to put a lag on or a lead on so a lag is a positive number which is basically a delay and a lead is a negative number you do have to qualify it with these fs ss ff sf whichever one you're using so if i click ok to that one what I would have to do to put a one day lag on here, I would have to go one FS plus one. One FS plus one. And then you get the extra day lag. Now, if I change that to a minus one fs minus one you get the lead so i'll do that as minus two now i've got my entry bar up here so i can i'll do minus three actually it'll go forward back into the history so it's asking me that so it, there is the time on that now if i just do a couple more tasks Task C, Task D. If I do a finish to finish link on this one, so that is going to be 4FF. You can see it does the link. So if I want to add a delay, a lag, I'm going to put a plus number on that, plus two days. If I want a lead, it's a minus number, minus two days. Now nothing seems to have happened because that's the start of the project and it didn't go back even though this one did what you have to do in this one if i just push this one forward into next week you can see it does the lead in time so if i click on that again and do the minus four days it comes back to the start date of the project and if i go four ff for ff plus four it goes the other way so if i do on this one two ss that's the start cancel that not two ss um seven ss that's a start to start link so this task dictates when that one can start so if i do a seven ss plus one that gives you the lead. If I go up there and put minus one, it's doing that. Now two more task E and F task G and H. And if I link these together with an SF, so it's going to be ten S. F plus one. So start to finish. So this task, the start of this dictates when that finishes. So I put plus four. You can see that. So this one would more, more likely have a delay on it. So if I put um, a lead on it, should I say? If I put minus four. It's going back in time. Minus four days. So it's just basically a plus or minus on the 
on the link that gives you the lead or the lag. And the last one, if I just do one more, let's do a five day task. Now, if I split this task, just grab the split tool and just push it into next week. And then link a task to that. Leave it as question mark. So if I go, um, was it 13? FS back to the normal one plus one so it links to this part of the task not this part of the task now if I wanted that task to be linked but to sit in there I would have to put a lead on it so of something a minus say eight days now it's sitting in there and that's not a great symbol I don't like the look of that but what you could probably do if you wanted something to sit there is put change that link to be 13 ss plus two so then it's sitting or plus one so it's starting on monday and it's dictated by this if i move this this is pushing that one along now there's a useful um, feature you can use lead or lag with it's to show a critical path so sometimes if I just go task 1, task 2, so you've got a one-day task and and then another one-day task. They're just following on. So that's start off with 17. But what you need is a five-day drying time. So say that is pour wet concrete and this one is to establish um, a building frame on that concrete what you can do is do a lead sorry do a lag on this of five days and then it will show a critical path so what I need to do first off is get rid of all of this just delete these two off at the top this space and if I put the critical path indicator on critical tasks at the moment they're both red but if I move this five days so as to Friday only this one has gone red this this one is now not showing a critical path because there's slack there you can't have a critical path if there's more than one day slack if you want to change that you can change that in options to at the moment it's on um, the default setting however if you if I just undo that if I want to put a uh, a lag on that so if I'll go 1 FS plus 5 this push should have been plus 4 but never mind it gives you the indicator that that is a critical path so this is just drying time so you could show a critical path by using the lag feature. So that's just a quick look at lead and lag. If I just double click into task two, this is where it is. And as you can manually change that, if you don't want to type or you can't remember what to type, that's how you'd have to do it. Double click in, use these arrows up and down to increase or decrease lead or lag. But that's the end of this session, so hopefully you enjoyed that, and I'll see you in the next one.